All right, we are live for the NHL 22 trailer reveal. It'll be coming in 30 minutes, and we have a lot to talk about. A lot has been already leaked. A lot has been already confirmed by various sources. We're going to go through all of that today. If you're watching this on the replay, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, you can go three minutes ahead of time if you want to see my reaction to this. But there has been a lot, guys, that has been confirmed for this game right before this trailer. And we could go through some of it. But say hello to the chat down below. Hit the like button hit that subscribe button let's get this stream started boys it's gonna be a fantastic time and i can't wait to see what nhl 22 brings us let me know in the comments or in the chat down below first things first when you're coming in here what is the one feature you want to see in nhl 22 the one feature one make or break feature for me if i can get roster sharing if i can just get roster sharing that is all i need all i need it would still be a bad game but I, that's all i need all i need is roster sharing let me know in the chat down below what you guys want we got 70 people already in this stream let's see the first piece we're in here. We got Golvich, Hockey Arcade, Lemon Giraffe, Islanders Big Fan, Andreas. We got Ain Rids, Jesse Green, Juna, Flyers Fan 58, Saxy Ginger, Shan. We got Cookie, HLE Games, Brooks Beach, King Habs, PSR, uh, CA Joseph 16, Jacob Voracek, Mathis, Noah Bagos. We got uh, Nick Adams, Joe. We got Jonas in here, Craig Andrews, Carrie B, Hockey. Good to see you guys in the chat down below. Matthew Healy 22, what's going on, y'all? So let me know in the chat down below again. What do you guys want to see in NHL 22 the reveal trailer is premiering in 29 minutes so we got some time here but it's going to be coming very very quick here so again stick in this live stream hit the like button and let's get it started pretty much the first like big live stream since free agency so it's going to be a ton of fun today boys so stick around it's going to it's going to be a good morning I, I have a feeling and you know what I'm going to say this right now okay well you know what let's let's do some predictions shall we let's do some predictions so I think the one, obviously, we know that this game is going to be next gen, PS5, uh, and a Xbox Series S. We know that already. We know that already. I think it's going to be a. Mu oh, Swirls with a five connected franchise. Oh, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. Oh, I guess I have. I guess I have the alert box in two straight play, uh, two different places. Let me fix that. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much for the five. Those swirls. Can we get some swirls hype? And again, connected franchise. Great point. I'm. You know what? If we don't get roster sharing, I'll be pretty happy with connected franchise. That would be perfect. That would be perfect. But the problem is, it just doesn't seem like it's something that EA is ever going to do, which just sucks, man. It, it, it's it's so easy to put in, just like roster sharing. It seems like. The, e the NHL EA games, their problems are just so easy to fix, but we'll see what happens. Crossplay, that is that's a great point as well, Golvich. If we can get crossplay, because I mean, there's gonna be like at least four different versions of this game with the PS4, or Xbox, um, Xbox One, Xbox Series S, and of course the PS5. There has to be crossplay. There has to be, right? So, boys, if you're just coming in, say hello, get the like button going. It's absolutely free and it helps the channel a ton. And we're gonna be going through this premiere in 27 minutes, so we're getting pretty close. And once again, let me know what you guys want to see in NHL 22. And again, if I can just get roster sharing, honestly, I'll say this. Every other game has roster sharing. I don't know why. I don't know why the NHL games are so different. I propose in the past and people will say, oh, it's because then nobody will buy in the next game. All you need to do is, is close off the roster sharing before free agency. Oh, and Andreas, thank you so much for the 55 in Sweden, brother. Got my first COVID shot today. Arm hurts, but numb at the same time. Hey, Andreas. Hey, Andreas. I've, I'm, I've heard that's a pretty common symptom but that's fantastic andreas good to see it good to see it can we get some andreas type in the chat down below thank you so much for the nation brother also let me know in the chat down below for the next question here who do you guys see being the cover player the cover player for nhl 22 it was they had a little bit of a teaser trailer i think i can load it up here uh they had a little bit of a teaser trailer earlier where they put the new york rangers logo here and it was kind of a little bit cryptic maybe i mean in terms of a, a teaser trailer, you would think it's a New York Ranger, right? You would think it's a New York Ranger. But I want to show you guys something very, very interesting. You guys want to see this? Yes or no? Let me know in the chat down below. Because it relates to the cover player and it might have been leaked already. It might have been leaked already. So um, let me know in the chat down below again what do you guys think the player cover player will be. We got 150 in this chat. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Let's get to 200, boys. Let's keep it going. All right. So... You guys want to see it, I'll, I'll reveal it. And again, there are spoilers ahead for the uh, cover player. But 
there was this account that uh, that's been out for a or that's been a thing for quite a while. Uh, it basically it's an Italian leaker who uh, who has revealed a lot of Xbox stuff in the past, and a couple of days I think it was uh, yeah a couple of days ago August eighteenth. This apparently is the X Factor edition of NHL twenty two. Now, if it is Austin Matthews as the cover photo a uh, cover player again. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but maybe maybe there's one player on the normal version, one player on the X Factor edition. That could be a, a, an interesting point. But this looks to be at least the X Factor edition of NHL 22, which is like the 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 be, like the the better one, I guess that that you can pay more for. And we also saw this screenshot coming out from NHL 22. This is NHL 22 gameplay right here. This is an actual look at NHL 22. Now, if you actually look at the at the player here in Austin Matthews, you can see one of the big points about NHL games in the past is that the logos look terrible. They look like they were mesh. In this game, they looked a lot. They look a lot more like actual NHL logos. And that's the first thing that kind of brought or kind of I was looking at. But this is what the big first look is for NHL 22. This is what we know right now. Um, oh, Connor with the seven Canadian. Thank you so much for the nation, man. Thoughts on Petrie and Hughes still not signed. And I would want a more in-depth be a pro to make it feel like you were the player more. Oh, 100%, Connor. I, I would say with Petrie and Hughes, I think they're going to get it done. But it will. it's, it's going to be pretty close to the season start, I think. It would be a little bit... It's gonna be a little bit tough. I, I think I think Q's probably gonna get done first, and then Pedersen probably gets done around uh, training camp. Scars. Thank you so much, Connor. Can we get some Connor hype in the chat down below? Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Turtle Chill, what's going on? 12 Lego, what's going on? Uh, X Factor Edition. It's big. I don't know what they called it in the past, but it's like the pro edition for, for this game. But yeah, let me know in the chat down below. One out of ten. What do you guys think about these graphics so far from what you can tell? Uh, for me, it looks like an upgrade. Obviously, the logo looks like a big upgrade. I can tell a little bit more shadow, uh, shading on the on the jersey itself. Uh, and a little bit more detail on the on the faces still not like amazing but it looks like at least an upgrade uh which is good to see i also notice a, a lot more just shading and and lighting in general in the stadiums which is good to see but yeah that is the first ever screenshot really of nhl 22 that we know of at least right now and it was also uh <laughs> it was also um posted by this uh by this account xbox trying to leak nhl 22 early apparently apparently nhl 22 was on like his home home page or something pre-order now and uh ea did another oopsie so a lot is leaked early and again it, it seems like at least the x factor edition of nhl 22 will be austin matthews though again there is still a possibility there is still a possibility that the standard edition the normal edition that that we usually get is just uh, a different player uh luke the reveal is in 20 minutes i believe uh where was it let me let me just uh load it up here i'm pretty sure it was in uh it was in like 20 minutes yeah 22 minutes until the reveal 22 minutes until the reveal if you guys are just coming in here again let me know in the chat down below what is one feature you guys want what is one feature you guys want let's get it going boys let's get some you know what even though i don't think uh it's gonna be too crazy let's get some nhl 22 hype just uh you know, maybe something happens because of us. Maybe something actually good happens because of us. I mean, hey, if we get some NHL 22 high, maybe we'll maybe we'll maybe we'll get roster sharing. Maybe we'll get uh, GM connected. I think Frostbite is confirmed. Yes, it is confirmed. Uh, Craig Craigers, yes. What's going on, Craig? Good to see you. I was looking at several articles and they said that it's a Rangers player or CCM a jet speeds and that's our team uh, Panarin. It would so here's my here's my prediction, Doctor Dingles. I think the X Factor edition of the game is going to be Austin Matthews, while the standard edition is going to be our team Panarin. Now, here's the thing: Why is Austin Matthews even in the same sentence of X Factor? Like, is is that weird to anybody else? Austin Matthews who's lost in the first round like five straight years you sure about that <laughs> you sure about that i don't know that's that that's kind of weird to me why they would choose austin Ma I, I can see austin matthews as the, as the standard edition i mean obviously he was in nhl 20 as the guy there but as the x factor edition like what is what is that about oh andreas with the 55 in sweden thank you so much yes i did hear about that about an hour ago i believe uh did you see about owen power going back to michigan next season so yes owen power is confirmed to be going back to michigan which we kind of already were kind of speculating about and 
personally, I think that's the best best thing for both sides, both for Buffalo and Owen Power. Buffalo's going to be a, a, a clown show next year. <laughs> They're going to be a clown show next year, and I don't think Owen Power should be a part of any of that, really. Imagine this is how, or wait a second, imagine this is how uh, they announced the Eichel trade with him on the cover in a rate. Whoa, that would be pretty, cr though, to be honest, Jared, if it was Eichel on the cover, I think we would have known about it already. Like, if he, especially if he was in a Rangers jersey. <laughs> More in-depth franchise expansion draft. That is true. Oh, and Ever to the two. Sebastian Ajo for the picture. I would be down for Sebastian Ajo. I would absolutely be down for Sebastian Ajo. That would be. I, I think that would be a pretty great ad. Let me know in the chat down below, by the way, guys, uh, to add upon uh, Erich's uh, donation. Let me know in the chat down below. What is what is the player you guys want to see on the cover? Not what you guys think will be on the cover. What you guys want to see on the cover? Now, Sebastian Ajo is a great picky, Rich. I would I would say, I mean, personally, Artemi Panarin is definitely up there. Um, I, I I would love to have a Braden Point uh, a cover photo, personally. That would be pretty sweet, I think. Um, but definitely, definitely Artemi Panarin, uh, Braden Point. I mean, obviously, Capo Caco, my boy, of course, of course. But um, I, I think there's a lot of different ways you can go about it. Obviously, as a Stars fan, I mean, I love Haskin on the cover. But that's probably not going to happen ever, though but i don't know there's a lot of ways they can go with it i i would really like i would really like a um like a jack hughes that would, i think that'd be pretty cool like imagine they make made like a young guns edition or something that'd be that'd be pretty interesting won't hop it won't happen but special cover aho for me matthew barzal 2023 that is a possibility eric um tom wilson getting knocked out that'd be a pretty interesting cover Aaron master what's going on man good to see you uh more choice for free agency and be a pro yeah that, that's a good point too be a, be a pro obviously got a facelift last year it, it's still a little bit bare bones though compared to most but we got 220 people in this chat thank you guys so much for coming in and again 18 minutes to go until this trailer is here so make sure you guys stick around and do not go anywhere because it's going to be a really really interesting reveal i think and here's the thing obviously we know the last time the nhl switched engines and went to a new new uh new gen was nhl 15 and it was the worst game of the series really it was it was strapped it was strapped by it, it was stripped or it was stripped from a lot of the features that initial 14 had it was not good it was a lot more pretty but it was not good and there is obviously the possibility of nhl 22 is that but i'm gonna say this right now i'm kind i don't know why and, and this is probably it is definitely it is 100 percent foolish but i have a little bit of optimism i have a, a hint of optimism Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Andres, for another donation, man. Are you kidding me? Watch it be Morgan Barron. Hey. I'll take it, man. I'll take if it's Morgan Barron, I'll take it. I will take it, okay? By the way, guys, if any of you guys are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'd we'll love to have you for the rest of it. Barkov R2, that's a good, that's a good one. I, I would like Barkov on the cover, that is for sure. Uh let me see here. Alright. Ajax, what's going on? Cindy Crosby would be a pretty interesting ad, though it seems like it seems like EA never put Cindy Crosby on the cover for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it just never seems to happen. I actually own the Xbox 360 version of NHL 15, which is basically NHL 14. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I, I was talking about the next gen um, releases, which who knows? Maybe 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 if the NHL 22, like PS5 and Xbox Series X uh, ones, suck. Uh, maybe maybe the PS4 ones and Xbox One ones are actually decent. But again, all I'm hoping for, all I'm hoping for is is just roster sharing. That that's it. That's that's if we honestly, I'll say this right now. The only like, man, there like I've been I've tell I've told uh, mods and members in, of this in the past. But I mean I've made I made a couple of NHL video game videos in the past. If I was able to have roster sharing and like go back or or download rosters from the community and do different stuff and make different videos on it, I would have I would have had so many more videos on NHL 21 or 22. Oh, hockey with the two Jesse Pugliari for the cover. I mean, he's got he's got to have that lick, right? He's got to have that tongue out, right? Like this, like this. If he, if it was a Jesse Pugliari cover though, with the tongue out and with everything, oh, that'd be that that'd be the beauty edition right there. That'd be the beauty edition. I mean, it would be the best NHL game at that point, really. Uh, but thank you so much hockey. Can we get some hockey hype in the chat down below? Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much If Kirby Doc ever gotten low on the cover, that'd be pretty fun. Yeah, I think Kirby Doc would be a pretty interesting fit Sherry cover between Wilson and Reese. 
It's obviously going to be Larry Murdoch, right? That is true, Hockey Arcade. That is true. You know what? Again, official predictions. Official predictions. I'm going out Tammy Panarin for the standard cover and Austin Matthews as the X Factor. I still, I don't, I still don't get why Austin Matthews is the X X Factor cover player. By the way, guys, we just are coming in. Uh, the the X Factor edition of NHL 22 was leaked, and um, apparently, uh, we again we did have a uh, official uh, screenshot from NHL 22. Which again, the big big differences I see in this are the updated logos which look much more clean uh the the much more much more uh apparent shading on, on the jerseys especially on, on the players you can see on that uh you can see one of the big points and obviously this is next this is a next gen uh screenshot you can see that quite a bit of good reflection on the on the on the visor on austin matthews which i think is pretty good um but just some better detail overall obviously not like uh not like groundbreaking uh improvements but th there's definitely improvements that need to be made i still don't know why <laughs> why they had those like mesh logos on the jerseys for so long but it looks like they're finally having logos that actually look good um pull every tongue out with the best smile in the league 100 percent hockey 100 percent wwe man what's going on man jacob Voracek, it, it's basically uh, the x factor edition is going to be like a 20 uh, it's going to be like a it's going to be like nhl 22 but 20 dollars more and you get like packs or something in hot that's basically what it is i don't remember what the um i don't remember what they were called last year actually let me just let me just look it was like, a special edition right I don't remember exactly what it was called, but it was something like that. Yeah, great eight edition. It's basically like it's basically the version of that, basically where it's more. You basically pay more money to get better packs. Uh, Panarin probably is the cover, but Fox would be, Fox would be amazing. I would love that. But yeah, it's probably gonna be Panarin if if it is the if it is a standard cover. What's with the big shoulders? I don't know. Maybe maybe Matthews is. is, is putting some pillows below it i don't know i don't know maybe that's called part of the maybe it's the shoulder edition of nhl 22 <laughs> all right guys we got 13 minutes to go until this reveal trailer is here 300 people in this chat thank you so much for dropping by if you are new by the way guys we make daily hockey content on this channel so subscribe if you are new after this depending on how good the trailer is i might make a, like a new features in nhl 22 video uh it'll definitely be interesting but i'm I, apparently it'll be a two minute trailer uh from what we can tell and um I, i'm just excited to get into this so again can we get you know what can we get a w train in the chat down below to hopefully hopefully get some good luck on our side for this nhl 22 release because again if we if we get some w's together we might actually get some game modes that we actually want <laughs> all right let me, let me just go back to that screenshot though and just leave it for a little bit new engine will only be on next gen uh ps5 and xbox series i haven't seen it confirmed jolly i would assume that's probably the case but i haven't seen it confirmed yet It'll be Brady Kachuk. I'm calling it now, Grav. Interesting, Riker. I'm not a big shoulder. I'm, it's not his big shoulders. His head is small. <laughs> there are a few scans with the weird small heads where the helmets don't fit. That is true, Sean. That is true. Do you think that Panarin deserves a cover? I'd be totally... I'd be fine with it. I think he definitely does. Hear me out. Ben Sherrod hugging the boys after beating Vegas would be a sick cover. That would be... I, I would like that. I would like that. Shell 17, best in the series? Interesting. Interesting, Ethan. I would say the... I mean... How how long are we talking here? Because NHL 14 is definitely the best, in my opinion. It's probably going to be Hedman or, Hedman or Vassie. Which is better? This channel or the brothers playing Pokemon? Obviously, brothers playing Pokemon. Obviously. He's playing in the garden that pick. Does that mean something? Hmm. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. Because, again, we did see the, tra the teaser trailer where they put the Rangers logo and looking all detailed and everything. So maybe it's like uh maybe it's like a Panarin and Matthews dual cover, perhaps? That would be interesting. I mean they did the same thing with Madden 22. Maybe maybe it is like Matthews and Panarin. That would be pretty interesting, right? I I cause I was just kind of thinking about like, yeah, why would Matthews be in Madison Square Garden already with the with the Rangers uh ice trailer that we got earlier? It, it might be leading up to something. That is interesting. What's the last time a goalie was on the cover? I think Vassy or Prices or is it? It was uh it was Bredor in, in NHL 14, I believe. Grab, what do you think of Makar on the cover? I think Mac I think Makar will eventually be on the cover. I don't think it's his year to do it now. Because I, mean, I think they'll probably wait till he's like winning the Norris Trophy or something. But I think he eventually will get it. Makar Makar's an easy one. He's going to get it sometime. If he wants to do it, of course. Chris Kreider, regular X-Factor price. Barkov will probably be on the finished version. That is truly why I'd, 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 I'd expect that. Do we know the cover? Uh, right now, we know the cover for the NA, for the uh, X Factor edition, which right now is apparently the um, the like the special edition, if you want to call it that. Do we know Austin Matthews will be on the X Factor edition? That that uh, cover photo has been leaked, which 
I don't know. It, is it just me or is this 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 cover photo kind of booty? <laughs> it's it's a little bit booty. I don't know. Like I, I don't like what like what is he? I don't know. Like I, I just don't I just don't know why they put Austin Matthews on the X Factor version. That just doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, we got 10 minutes to go, guys. Can we get some 10 minutes hype in the chat down below? 330 people in here. Let's get it going. And again, I appreciate you guys, especially if you guys are watching during school or whatever it might be. I know it's pretty early in the morning, so I appreciate you guys coming in. And again, we're, we're getting the hype going. We'll see what happens. Uh, Brad freaking Lambert is on the front. Is that If that is true, FLG, I would love that. Brad Lambert is my boy. Uh, Real L, what's going on? Eichel will be on the cover wearing the jersey of his new team to announce a trade. I hope you're right, Timbit. And hopefully that team is the New York Rangers. Let's go. Oh, and Hockey, have another donation. Thank you so much for the two Canadian men. Louis Erickson, X-Factor, empty net goals. I mean, that's that's the thing. Why have Austin Matthews as your X-Factor player when you could have Louis Erickson? I don't get it. I, I don't get it. Simply put, I, I don't get it. it that, that, that's me. When you, have, when you have Louis Erickson available... Yet you choose Austin Matthews? Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Thank you so much, though, Hockey. And thank you so much to the two Canadian. Can we get some more hype in the chat for them? Uh, McDavid and Leo on the cover together. That'd be a pretty good one. Misty Grab, hope the summer has been treating you well. It absolutely has been, Quinn. Hopefully you as well, man. It's been a good couple of good couple of months. I have a feeling NHL returns to PC. Oh, please! Oh my goodness. It's not going to happen. But man, if we got releases for PC and Switch, I would... Oh, okay, I'll say this. Let me know in the chat down below what you guys would rather have, a PC or Switch version. Because I, I will say this, I would love to have both. Obviously, PC is what I'd probably play on because you could probably have mods and all that on it. And that's probably why they haven't released it yet. But if it was on the Switch too, and you could put it on the... You can play it franchise mode on the go, that would not be too bad. And especially if it has raw sharing. If it has raw, if, okay. Here is on, I would love GM Connect and I'd love all this. But if it had a PC Switch version and roster sharing, that's all I need. All I need. All I need, nothing else. Nothing else at all. <laughs> nothing else at all. Oh, and Coco Marsh with a five. Thank you so much, Coco Marsh. Love the streams. Feeding my hockey knees in the summer. Coco, that's what we do on this channel. That's what we do. Thank you so much for the five, man. Can we get some Coco hype? In the chat down below. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. A story mode that'd be pretty good. Uh, that'd be a pretty good ad. I, I don't know. I feel like they already did a lot of their be a pro stuff last year. I'll say this right now, guys. I doubt there's going to be many improvements to to be a pro. I think that was last year's selling point, and if they they like vastly improved it again, I don't think they would have like much of a huge selling point or a new selling point for this game. There's got to be something. Last year, it was an improved be a pro. It was the uh, big the the crazy deeks you could do with the Michigan and all that. This year, there has to be something, especially with next gen. Right? You'd have to think. You'd have to think. Unless they just say, oh, it's on next gen, prettier graphics, that's it. Which was pretty much NHL 15. So maybe, maybe they don't. <laughs> maybe they don't. But again, all I need is roster sharing, man. All I need is roster sharing. Adam, NYR legend, Levor Hayek, NHL 22. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the first thing I'm doing in NHL 22 is making him 99 overall, as he deserves. As he deserves to be. Uh, make a poll who, for who should be on the cover. Who should be on the cover? Or who you guys predict to be on the cover? Because I can do that. Who do you predict to be on or actually let me do this who do you predict to be on the nhl 22 um cover all right let me let me put that in the chat that's a good that's a good point uh Golich. tune panarin and again this is for the standard edition of the game by the way standard there we go um And there we go. There we go. Okay, last but not least, let me put... Uh... Alright, so I'll put a poll in the chat down below on who you guys think will be on the standard edition of the NHL 22 cover. Again, I'm thinking it's Artemi Panarin on the standard and Austin Matthews on the on the X Factor, though it could, again, be Panarin and Matthews. I think that could be interesting on the uh, on the, on the the actual just standard edition of it. Oh, and James with the five. Shout out from Tampa Bay. Good, great work and love your energy and go Bolts and go crack. And hey, James, shout out to Tampa Bay 100%. We got a lot of Bolts fans on this channel, actually, James. So uh, I appreciate all you guys, all you guys. Scars. Can we please get some James hype in the chat? Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, funny. Oh, weird. O funny or weird. Leaving for talking too much crap about Matthews. Me? Bro, I'm... I'm... <laughs> Bro, I'm American. I want Matthews to do well. What you talking about? <laughs> like, if you think I like, dude, if you think I'm talking crap about Matthews, you get you you or you anywhere else, I guarantee you would talk more crap about Austin Matthews. It be it should be NHL 22, the Poppy Edition. I would, that that is kind of I kind of like that. I kind of like that. It'd be so cool if it's Caulfield. If it's Caulfield, man, that would be amazing. Though I doubt. I, the thing is, I feel like they would choose a cover player like before the playoffs. So I don't know if Caulfield would have been up to that level yet. Um, obviously Blake Como, of course Ray Richard, of course. I want Bogosian. We all want Bogosian on the cover player, of course, of course. When they say Matthews is better than McDavid. I've, I haven't seen anybody say that since like 2017, really. By the way, guys, if you're just coming in, we got 450 in this chat. Stick in this live stream. Hit that subscribe button. Of course, if you are new, we make daily hockey content on this channel. If you're liking the energy, if you're liking the stream so far, make sure you join us. And every new subscriber gets a shout out, gets free cookies, gets daily hockey content, and it is 100% free. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, you get a shout out in the corner as well with your name on it if you do subscribe. So everybody's appreciated. Um... All right, so again, we have four minutes to go. All right, four minutes to go. Can we get some four minutes hype, y'all? Some four minutes hype? I'm interested to see what's going on here. I'm hoping... By the way, it is, is it, it is a premiere, so they'll have like a one-minute countdown before it, actually, uh, before it actually goes down. The only reason I think it's not Matthews is because he already has a cover. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I was thinking, but again, it seems like he's going to be on the X-Factor edition of the game, which I think leads to potentially him and Panarin maybe together because again we did see Madden going with Tom Brady and Mahomes so maybe they have a two-player photo uh, for NHL 22. Justin, good to see you in the chat it has been a while oh and James another one another five thank you so much man absolutely appreciated the hockey on you are my go-to source for all hockey hey that is some that is some high praise thank you so much James good to be in that group good to be in that group you absolute beaut can we, can we please get some more James hype? This guy, this guy, this guy is killing it right now. This guy is killing it right now and deserves to be, deserves to be praised. Um, hello everyone from Russia. Good to see you in the chat. Uh, putting McDavid will be a statement. Okay, three minutes to go, guys. Three minutes to go. We got 500 people in the chat. Stick in this live stream. Let's keep it going. Because it's gonna be pretty, it's gonna be pretty interesting having this reveal trailer. And again, let me know final predictions with three minutes to go. Final predictions. What is the big thing that this game has that is going to separate it from the other ones? Because again, not only does EA have to compete, not to sell this new game, they have to sell new hardware with this game. So at the same time, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting sell. And again, they have to have some features. I think, so, like something, something like last year. Obviously, we have Be a Pro and the like the Michigan Deke and everything. This year, I, again, if they if they put in a GM connected or they put in a rostering, I'd be so happy. I'd be so happy. Francois also coming of the five. Tyler Toffoli sell you after sweeping the Jets. Oh, that would be that is like the kind of the perfect cover photo, right? That is a great one. That is a great one. They're probably not gonna do it, Francois, because. Oh, man, they're probably not gonna put a half on the cover because it's because that because they're boring. But man, I would love to fully. I would love to fully. He would absolutely deserve it. But thank you so much for the five, Francois. I absolutely appreciate it. Rob Hughes, thank you so much for subscribing as well, Rob. We got two minutes to go until the premiere is here, y'all. Two minutes to go. GM connected. That's literally it. I hope so. I hope so, R2. Je honestly, just again for me, just for me. Put in roster sharing. That's all I need. All I need. Please. Please. Bjorkstrand, what's going on, man? GM Connected would be stupid. Who would play it? A lot of people. I see it basically as the most asked upon feature. James, well, the five. Looking forward to Seattle Kraken being in the game. That is true. The Kraken are... I, I would see... I would suppose the Kraken are going to be a part of this trailer in some way. Scars. Thank you so much for the five, James. Appreciate it, man. All right. 60 seconds until the premiere is here, y'all. 60 seconds. Let me go. No, final predictions down the chat. What is the big feature that EA is going to put in this game? You know what? I'm, I'm not going to say roster sharing because I don't want to jinx anything. I don't want to jinx anything here. I'm going to say, I'm going to say the big feature. Like I don't even know. <laughs> I, I don't even know what it, I don't even I don't, I don't even know what it would be besides roster sharing or or, or GM connected. That's like 
unless there's like a big maybe they overhaul franchise mode more i mean they did put in the trade deadline thing last year maybe, maybe there's like a big rehaul of franchise mode this year maybe that's what they're focusing on we'll see what happens but um i'm hoping there's at least something here oh premiere will begin shortly okay premiere will begin shortly flg thank you so much for subscribing welcome to the grab gang i mean frostbite is better than the ignite engine they were actually using all right premiere will begin shortly is it not is it not gonna come in premiere will be going again shortly come on here ea come on here ea oh i think i think they start like they start the countdown at at 10 a.m i see you i see you swirls in world of shell they should make it where you combine different celebrations to different buttons that that's a good idea instead of just one yeah i i would hope that's a part of it squirrels thank you so much for the five though and also set of the sharks territory with the five canadian nhl 22 baby yes sir yes sir all right thank you so much san jose sharks territory and squirrels absolutely appreciate you both stars let me know once again guys what do you guys want to see in nhl 22 it is EB it's about to begin and now it is 10 a.m it is now 10 a.m Premiere will begin shortly. Is it not going to begin? Oh. Oh. Uh, is this, is this a two-minute countdown or what? <laughs> all right. So we are here. We are here. Okay. We're all good here. 600 people in this chat. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Let's get it going. If you like hockey content, we upload daily on this channel. So hit that subscribe button. You get a big shout out just like Movie Nest on the screen. So it is 100% worth it. I'm guessing it's a two-minute countdown. Yeah, 11 a.m. for me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a central time, baby. Let's get the baby on the cover. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm, I, let, let's go. Let's go. Test the volume on the stream. I tested uh, my volume for YouTube before, before beforehand, Quinn. So it should be good. It should be good. Actually, I have it uh, muted. All right. Let me turn off the, my uh, music as well in the background. Is this all good for you guys? Is this all good for you guys? Let me know in the chat. Higher or lower? Higher or lower? I can put it higher if, if we need be. Longest two second countdown. <laughs> That's true, Tim. But... It's good. A little bit higher. Okay, I'll put it. I'll put it a smidge higher, like about the middle part. All right, twenty-eight seconds to go. Twenty-eight seconds to go. I'll put it just a smooth higher now. All right. Once again, final predictions. What is going to be in NHL 22? What is the big feature? Let me know your thoughts right now in the chat. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for the support so far. And let's react to this together. All right. Eight, seven. Again, please just give me roster sharing or GM connected. That is it. That is it. A Switch or PC version would be great. I like this trailer so far. One that has the faces definitely look a lot more realistic. And yet sudden. Because change is not about the next trend. It is about the next generation. Ooh, okay, that celebration though. That Mika face looks a lot better. Interesting. What is new about this gameplay, though, besides that X Factor part? Oh, Tom Wilson just laying it down. Interesting. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing that's one of those uh, attribute features that they have in NBA 2K. The lighting looks a lot better. A lot better. Yeah, that lighting looks way better. Way better. Oh, 
Okay, so they're just showing gameplay so far. Can we please get something here? There's Seattle. That... Bruh, now I'm my... <laughs> That was it? Oh my. <sighs> okay, first things first, let's go back to the big thing that they were kind of teasing here. Where was it? It was that like attribute feature or something. I, I know the NBA 2K has like a badge system where like certain players have certain aspects to their game. Where was it? It was some. It was sometime around here. It's not about the next trend. I like the cinematics of this trailer. It looks good. So look at this, shock and awe. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's kind of like a badge system that um, they're implementing here. Like, like every player has different badges. That's at least something. Oh, Craig of the Five, EA Sports stinks. I mean, at least it looks good, right? At least it looks good. But my problem is they didn't show us anything besides gameplay. And for me personally, I don't know about you guys, for me personally, I mean, the gameplay wasn't great in NHL games, but it never was the problem. The lack of in-depth features and, and, and consistency throughout game mode, especially franchise mode, be a pro, was always the problem. And I like this badge system. This, is this all they have to show us? Like, do we, have, do we even have a cover player right now? Do we even have a cover player? They didn't even show a cover player. They didn't even show a cover player. What? And goes to the two. You get more of a more out of a kinder egg than that. Show. <laughs> You're kind of right, though. You're kind of right. I mean, I, I like the graphics a lot. It looks pretty like it looks pretty um like glossy, which I don't know. I kind of like that style. Kind of reminds me of like how NHL 15 tried to go for an over glossy look to compensate for the new consoles. But like, look at this. No cover player. <laughs> they couldn't even give us the bare minimum. They couldn't even give us the bare minimum of a cover player. Oh my goodness. Andre, thank you so much for the 20. Looks good, but then nothing. Yeah, that's my thing. It looks like we can go for this trailer as, as well. Let's go, let's go over this trailer a bit more. Because I will say this. I really love the cinematics. And you can tell that Frostbite really added a punch to this. Like, this looks a lot better. It does look a lot better. It does look a lot better. But at the same time... Yikes. I don't know. I don't know. But we got a thousand people in here. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Join the Grab Gang Daily Hockey Content on this channel. And if you enjoy the breakdown, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But again, we'll go for the trailer a little bit more. I mean, it, it does look a lot better, to be fair. Check mentions. Golvich, you need to tell me. What do you mean check mentions? On Twitter, on Discord, or what? Uh, somebody says check the, uh, check the, um, check the EA website. I'll do that now. Let me see. It doesn't show anything. It doesn't show anything. I go to, uh, let me see here. EA hasn't tweeted anything from what I can tell. Um, James fought with the five. Thank you so much. Which 2K sports would take? Oh, uh, which 2K sports would take over NHL games, graphics arenas? You, can you play as in-depth modes are way better? Yeah, that that is that is true. And also, Spooby with the two. Matthew's on the cover. It comes out October 12th. Is that confirmed? Let me see. Somebody said that a uh, Sportsnet leaked it. Let me see if that's true. Let me see if that's true. I haven't seen the cover yet. I haven't seen the cover yet. Pagnota. Okay, give me a second, y'all. Thank you for having patience with me. I'm trying to juggle all these different things at once right now. Pagnota hasn't... He's just retweeted the EA Sports trailer tweet. There, there's... Here, let me see. 
PlayStation. Okay, actually, let me... Let, okay, here we go. Here we go. This is something at least. So, uh, NHL 22 X Factor Edition. So, there you go. That That is the that is the cover that we knew already. Uh, it was leaked by, um, by a... Uh, I'm pretty sure an Italian um, leaker. But he leaked the uh, cover photo like two days ago. Two days ago. So, you know what? Can we get some Ws for this guy? Leaking the X Factor Edition like two days ago? You know what? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. But yeah, pre-order X Factor Edition um i'm trying to see here okay here we go so this is this is interesting uh nhl 22's breakthrough hockey powered by frostbite ea sports nhl 22 on playstation 5 gets the superstar treatment with a huge leap forward in graphics plus the arrival of superstar x factors that elevate the league's biggest stars with an all new layer of class-based play um pre-order and you get hot packs basically nobody cares <laughs> i mean I, I might get it just for the three-day early access so i can make videos on it but yeah oh wait a second this oh the standard edition is matthews too so there you go no art man they definitely they definitely uh juked us with that one so it is austin matthews again it is austin matthews again which is that not weird you guys like, why would they have, why would they have Austin Matthews again? They had Austin Matthews two years ago. That's kind of weird to me. Now, I, uh, like. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Quinn, for the two. This trailer was like my first girlfriend. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Quinn. I love you, man. I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the two. Can we get some Quinn hype in the chat down below? Pumped to be on the cover for NHL 22. So there you go. That is the official. Um, wait, is that the. Okay, this is the X Factor Edition. This is the X Factor Edition. So again, this is the X Factor Edition cover. I don't know. Like, do we know what the actual standard. Like, we know what it, like, kind of looks like. There's a picture there, but do we know what it actually looks like on the box art? Um, I'm a least fan, so I didn't, I didn't even find it. <laughs> Hash. Okay, so let's go through this. Let's go through this. Basically, the one feature we have to look for forward to is badges, which have been an M like an NBA and Madden for how many years now? A lot, <laughs> a lot of years. And I gotta say, I hate to say it, man. I really hate to say it. It's giving me NHL 15 vibes. Like, am I am I the only one? It's kind of giving me NHL 15 vibes. Uh, somebody said to check Nasher um the ice is indeed quite shiny yeah that's true that's true let, 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 let's look at let's look at this real quick that that's pretty good that's pretty good that looks that looks so much better actually we can go to that point on the trailer we might we might as well um yeah definitely it definitely looked better it definitely looked better to be fair to be fair let me see if i can actually find it real quick. here we go so there you go. You know what? That, I mean, again, I've, I, I've, I've said it. it looks really good. It looks really good. But again, am I the only one who thinks it, it, it's giving me NHL 15 vibes? We didn't get any, any actual non-gameplay features. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing whatsoever. And like you would think if they had like, okay, here's the thing. There might still be roster sharing. But if they had a GM connected or like a revamped franchise mode, they probably would have shown it, right? Blaze Salmon, thank you so much for subscribing, brother. Welcome to the Grav Gang. Guys, if you are new, hit that subscribe for daily hockey content. If you like trade numbers, if you like news, if you like different rankings videos, we make all of that all the time. So make sure you subscribe if you are new and are coming by and enjoying the stream so far. Why is everything so shiny? Because it is. By the way, I just looked up Nasher. He didn't say anything new, guys. <laughs> But that no, that can't that can't be like the actual cover they have on the box because it's too wide. That's too wide. Brett, thank you so much for the two. Um, Bobby Matthews plus Mahomes get all EA covers now. I mean, why not? Why not? Scars, thank you so much for the two, Brett. Hey, look, guys, we switched to Frostbite. Look at the graphics. I mean, that's 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 pretty much with. Okay, let, let, you know what? Let's go back. Because I, I want to see. Obviously, last year they had a revamped franchise mode. Did they show that in the trailer? I'm pretty sure they did. I'm pretty sure they did. They said.
No, actually, was this was the Ovechkin one where they didn't they like this was the uh, but the, no, look at this, look at this. Next generation. They showed they showed at least at least footage of of something Sorry. like they showed footage of a revamped Via Pro. They didn't show anything about a revamped franchise mode or anything. And again, this is the NHL 21 trailer. This is the NHL 21 reveal trailer. They at least showed something that was new. Simon, thank you so much for subscribing. Big time shout out to you, man. Free cookies are coming your way very, very soon. Very, very soon. But all I all I wanted, man, all I wanted in my life was uh was 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 uh was a roster sharing or, or GM uh, connected. That's that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. And it seems like there's no PC version, no Switch version, no nothing. So it's gonna be on on PS4 and and Xbox once again. Um, why couldn't it be Cooch with no shirt? That would have been pretty good. I would like that. So pissed about Matthews being on the cover. If they wanted to use the face of the NHL for a new engine, it should have been McDavid. And why the heck did they tease the Rangers two days ago? Yeah, that's my thing, Tyler. Why did they why did they tease the Rangers logo? Jimmy Robbins, thank you so much for subscribing, Jimmy. Big time shout out to you. Big time shout out to you. I'll say this right now, guys. I mean, I'm going to buy it because I'm planning on making videos on the channel with it. But like, it, it just didn't. It, it just didn't really entice me too much. Now, I, I don't think it has been confirmed yet that. Uh, Marie says Frostbite on all consoles. That was exactly what I was going to ask. Has it been confirmed that it's been going to be on all consoles? Because if it is, then, I, then I'm a little bit more excited. But um, very interesting stuff there. Let me let me see if I can find anything else for you guys. Um, and if you guys hear, uh, see anything, let me know as well. Hal Jones, thank you so much for subscribing as well, Hal. Big time shout out to you. By the way, we got 900 people in here. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Good to have you guys in here. And we'll have some news, uh, I believe, over the next little bit. Um, okay, so the Clapperton tweeted something. Uh, NHL 22 will utilize the Frostbite engine on all platforms, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series XS. So you'll get the benefits no matter what console you play the game on. So there you go. So... Frostbite will be on all consoles, which is good to see. I'm not sure how it'll run on uh, PS4 and Xbox One, but at least it at least it is something. At least it is something. I uh, checked the pre-order screens. Already did toasted to toast. Not really much there. Um, I, I've already kind of gone over a little bit. There's some pre-order benefits. Um. Oh, so there you go. That is that is the uh, shrunken down version. Because I was gonna say they couldn't have had the wide version for that standard cover, but that that, that right here is the uh, cover photo so there you go um which I, it looks okay i guess fine interesting though i mean i might i might still pre-order it just for the that three day uh three day bonus but we'll see we'll see so it, it so the three day bonus i'm pretty sure yeah so the standard edition comes out on the 15th and the uh, x factor edition comes out on the 12th so of course if you get the x factor edition it'll be three days early for everybody lee's twitter there's nothing on lee's twitter i'm guaranteeing it i'm guaranteeing it <laughs> guaranteeing it yeah nothing though there is a little bit of an interesting let's let's, let's look at this shall we look forward for the game to come out and you guys can play it you know, I grew up playing the game, and it's really special to, to be on the cover in general and to be on it. He was already on the cover. <laughs> Again, I'm still just as excited. EA Sports, NHL 22, the next generation of hockey game. Who better to be on the cover than the next generation of hockey player off the Matthews? It's a huge honor, and you know, being on the cover not once but twice, it's truly humbling. Uh, content, and uh, I think I'm getting... Okay, so just just a little bit of 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 uh like a like just a promotion there. Why is it Matthews again? I have no idea. I really have no idea. But the thing is here, I I have some hope. I have some hope because if if those X Factor things actually do play a part, like an actual part in the game, then I think that's a good addition. I think that's something that they should have put in a long time ago. And obviously, again, the graphics are a big big upgrade for sure, but. Like this should have been this should have been a thing years ago, really. Um, next generation of players make David not Matthews. Well, the next generation of, of players, obviously. 
obviously team slovakia uh liz thank you so much for subscribing liz welcome to the ground game we also have oh my goodness we, we also have magma welcome to the ground game as well magma big time shout outs to you man and love coming your way love coming your way toronto announced it before EA. Oof. <laughs> somebody's gonna get fired from that <laughs> uh rylan can you give me a shout out please hey rylan shout out to you good to have you in the stream man EA just wants desperately for Bieber to retake. Oh, that that honestly, yeah, that, that might that might be uh that might be a part of it. If it's gonna be someone on the cover twice. It should be McDavid. That is true. That is true. Though again, like I I just feel like if they're gonna have Matthews, why don't they just wait a little bit? Like it's t it's two years. It's two years removed from from NHL twenty. I don't know, man. I don't know uh rylan hey thank you so much for subscribing man shout out to you shout out to you the worst nhl games have the best graphics that's kind of true mr top Kadagi. that's kind of true and I, I i'm desperately hoping this is not an nhl 15 situation now there is still a possibility there is still a possibility that they show more after this uh because there was like a gameplay trailer or something after after the nhl 21 reveal which showed I, it showed more because the thing is here the problem that I have is if they had at least something to show, they would have they would have teased it. They would have at least had like a like a part like some couple of seconds. Because last year in the NHL 21 reveal, they had like a like a little bit of a teaser cut scene with the locker room shot for for uh, be a pro. Infamous, thank you so much for coming. And also, Rob, welcome to the Grab Gang. Big time shout outs to both of you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, Jordan Cornish, what's going on? But again, I feel I feel like if they had something as big as that like be a pro rehaul, they would have showed it. Or show at least like, ah oh man, I just I just I just want roster sharing. Is that is that? I just want roster. Sharing. Just give me give me that EA and I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh and Slinksy, you two of those seven Canadian. Thank you so much, man. Did you think Austin or did you think Matthews will be on the cover? Uh, I I knew that he would be on the X Factor edition. Scars. I I knew that he would be on the X Factor edition because it was actually leaked a couple days ago. I, I didn't think it would be just him on the standard edition though. I thought it, I thought it would have been Panera on the standard edition and then Matthews in the X Factor edition. But I guess they're going Matthews on on both of them again, which more power to him, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I, I think the graphics look really good. Like compared to compared to NHL twenty twenty one, I think it looks really good. I, I I think it mostly comes though in that shading and and uh, lighting really like. It might be the, just the same same thing, really, besides the graph, besides the lighting and the and the shading. But I mean, that adds quite a bit more pop to it. I think it looks better, much better. But that that to me isn't what I'm look. I, I I could really care less about NHL 21. I like about NHL and NHL looks. Like it, it doesn't. It shouldn't be a game that like like breaks boundaries, and it's never going to be. And I'll be. I, and I'll say this again. I I don't blame EA for going full out in the graphics because. When you're going to a new console, I mean that's what you want to want to really advertise, I guess. But at the same time, man, there needs to be actual new game modes. I'm not gonna buy like nobody's gonna uh, nobody's gonna buy NHL just for a graphics upgrade, really. Uh, grab I lost mod for some reason. Can you make me one uh, grab? I don't know if you remember me, but I was mod and I lost it again. What happened, Bar Nancy, all day? I mean, I could do it again. I'm glad McKinnon isn't on the cover. It would suck to have him associate with this year's release. <laughs> uh, it comes out on October 12th. Yeah, that's that. That's the that's a pre-order edition, basically. You should do a base a face reveal. Buckneck never, never will I ever do a face reveal. Not gonna happen. Okay, stop asking. Stop. Madden on ice. Cannot wait to see the game breaking gl glitches. I mean, to be fair, NHL games don't really have that many like big glitches. At least from what I can tell, at least like uh, offline, which is good, I guess. But <sighs> they, there's there has to be something else. There has to be something else. And again, if you guys are seeing anything, uh, let me know on uh, Twitter. By the way, right now we're at forty-seven thousand and eighty subscribers, twenty away from forty-seven point one k. So let's get there. Um, let's get there right now if we can. We got we got uh, twenty more to go, guys. If you are new, hit that subscribe button. And again, daily hockey content throughout the off season. If you need your hockey fill, this channel is the place to be. Uh, yesterday we put out a, a big video across um, across YouTube as well that was documenting the Matthew Kachuk and uh, Sean Monahan trade rumors that has been going around. A lot of interesting stuff there recently. Uh, the graphics uh, look good, but also look creepy and weird. I don't know. I can kind of see what you're getting at, but I, I think it just looks a little bit better overall. I don't know. I, I think it. I think it looks good. 
just just as good as it should have been really but again I'm, I'm trying to see if there's anything anything else here one of the biggest goals with nhl 22 x factors was adding true player differentiation the abilities players will have access to not only affect attributes but unlock specific animations affecting their area of expertise adds new elements to each game based on who's on the ice so there you go there you go x factors or x factors was adding true dip player differentiation different differentiation so that that make that obviously is is one of the big things and i i think adding x factors is good like i think it's i think it'll work but um i'm just interested to see how that actually affects gameplay if we'll actually see it in the beta either remember people never pre-ordered any game though to be fair with nhl games you know exactly what you're gonna get last year's game with very minor changes pretty much pretty much oh and tyler surround with a two panera or bust i'll write it if it's matthews again Uh, does, does any, does anybody want to, does anyone want to tell Tyler, um, what just happened? <laughs> Tyler, I feel so bad for you once you, once you figure out what's happening. <laughs> I feel so bad. Can we get some Tyler? I have in the chat down below for an absolute go. Thank you so much for the two, man. Somebody said Seth Jones. Um, ooh, okay. It's a little bit more uh, of a look here. Quick pick? What does that mean? <laughs> like, quick turnovers? Quick, uh, uh... I guess. Though, does Seth Jones really have that? I don't know. I don't know. That That's... I mean, it I, again, it still looks good. Interesting, though. They go for Seth Jones. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And not our... How how was our team Fenera not on this cover, guys? I still can't believe it. I still can't believe it. Yes, AA, it is Austin Matthews again. It is Austin Matthews on it again. Every NHL cover, guys, since NHL 17 has not touched the second round until at least two years after. Welp. Another couple bad years for the Toronto Maple Leafs, I guess. Um hey, <laughs> 69. Thank you so much for subscribing. Better pass break of animation to speed. Yeah, that that, that would make sense. Chuck Nasher, Nasher on Instagram? Uh, apparently there's a GameSpot article. Let me load that up. Um, let me see here. NHL 22 revealed with new engine, X-Factor abilities, and Austin Matthews on the cover. Let me actually make it to where you guys can actually see uh, the actual <laughs> the actual thing here. So apparently, apparently there is some stuff in here. I guess we'll go over it. Um, let me make this a little bit smaller. Hopefully there's something in this article that gives us something. Okay. Uh, EA, EA has officially announced NHL 22 and it delivers some notable changes over last year's game as it properly makes a jump to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XS for the first time. Austin Matthews on the cover once again following his appearance on the cover of NHL 20. The biggest thing to know about NHL 22, which releases in October, is that it runs on the EA's Frostbite engine, also which also powers the Madden FIFA sports franchise along with DICE's Battlefield series. The other top-line takeaway is that NHL 22 introduces new X-Factor abilities that were popularized in the Madden series to introduce a new layer of strategy on the ice um ea is saying or ea is saving deep dives on nhl 22's franchise be a pro and hunt modes for later which will also have to wait to hear more about what's news or what's new for updates to stick controls light thank you so much for subscribing the initial announcement is all about high level details and this starts with x factor abilities so from this GameStop or great game GameStop game spot article, it says that EA is saving the deep dives on the franchise be a prone hut modes for later. So they got what, like two months until this game is released? They have time, I guess, but I don't know, man. I just just give me give me, I, the 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 important thing here is that they mentioned NHL 22's franchise first. So hopefully there's a lot about franchise. Hopefully there's a lot about franchise. Uh, it's, it goes into detail a little bit about X Factors as well here. Inspired by Madden, X Factor abilities are meant to uh, elevate the superstars of hockey and add a new meta to the game. These are broken down into two buckets: zone abilities and superstar abilities. Zone abilities are what defines a player; they're unique skills based on what they are known for, and they're limited to one per player. Superstar abilities, meanwhile, are less powerful, and one player can be assigned multiple abilities. 
For example, Matthew Shockinaw's zone ability is meant to represent his skill and style on the ice. Matthew is known for disgusting his shot or disguising his shots with a trademark curl and drag shot. When he's using the shock and awe ability, opponents must recognize this and counter it because it's almost guaranteed to give Matthews a good scoring chance. Now the goalie or defender might be in a good position to stop Matthews in a scenario, but he won't score. But the idea is giving players an edge on the ice to give themselves the best possible chance to score. Uh, there, by the way, is a, is a um, screenshot of Evgeny Malkin, I believe. He kind of looks a little bit derpy. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Isles Fan 6, thank you so much for subscribing. Okay, so we actually get we actually get a uh, ooh we get some screenshots here. Okay, let me let me load this up for you guys. So we get some screenshots of uh, NHL 22. Kachuri is looking really good in this screenshot. Honestly, I really like the added detail and shine to the visors, especially. I think that looks a lot more slick. You can tell there's a lot more detail in the player faces. Kachuri looks a lot more realistic here. Uh, I really like the details in the eyes and the eyelids and the the overall. Um, just complexity of it. I, I like that. And it, and again, you can, I don't know if you can tell. I might need to zoom into this picture. But um, you I, there's a little bit of a... I, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me actually make it a little bit bigger here. I don't know if you guys can see it because it's really, really small detail. But there is kind of like a like a little bit of a little bit of a texture on the logos and i don't think we're there in previous gens there's a little bit of like a like a fuzzy fuzzy texture on that on the logos here which is definitely not an improvement now they still don't have the actual um good lettering on the flyers jersey but kajuri looks good here uh there's also this screenshot of crosby which this looks really good this looks really really good and again and most of it is coming from the lighting and the shading from the frostbite engine which i think looks a lot better but you can see that lighting kind of coming through on the helmet and on the visor here, really looking a lot more sharp. I don't think Crosby's face has really been touched up at all, really. But just the jersey, it looks a lot more compl like a lot more actually complete. I'll, I'll try to uh, try to zoom in here. Anna, thank you so much for subscribing. Or Anna, welcome to the Grav Gang. Good to have you. But you can kind of see a little bit more texture on that jersey. Uh, let me try and make it a little bit more big, just just to kind of hone in that detail but you can see there's kind of a little bit more texture on that jersey which i think look, makes it look a lot better uh next up we have leon dry here um let me make this smaller now but here is leon dry you can kind of you can kind of see quite a bit of an improvement on the faces in this one especially like leon dry eyes look a lot more actual human like which is good to see but again that that lighting that that shading looks a lot more complete and again you can kind of see a little bit better on on this picture you can kind of see that that kind of that kind of kind of um low-key texture on the on the logo that kind of makes it pop just a little bit more so that you can kind of see a little bit better on that one and then uh this next one i believe here oh here we go the seattle kraken there we go the seattle Kraken. is that mark is that mark your dad oh that kind of looks a little bit weird <laughs> mark giordano's lips are way bigger than they should be but there you go we get the seattle kraken jersey officially in game which i mean it looks pretty good you can see again some more texture on that logo uh you can see a little bit more of an outline on it too it, and it, you can see a lot of texture on that on the shoulders which definitely pop out in this screenshot but you can see climate pledge arena looking in its great glory and everything um that's a pretty good screenshot i, I can also kind of notice a little bit of texture on the on the color too which definitely makes it stand out more gabe thank you so much for subscribing man welcome to the grab gang here we get a screenshot of uh seth jones and a lot of of um a lot of, of a reflection on that visor you can see the ice reflecting in his, in his visor there which i think is pretty cool now i do get a little bit a little bit scared here because that nhl logo still looks like it's a fanatics jersey but it's fine it, it's okay it does the job but that that visor detail looks much better and especially on the helmet with the lighting that looks pretty good let me know by the way what you guys think about the uh, these uh details now uh, and here's climate pledge arena in all of its glory which looks pretty sweet um what else we got we got uh, eric carlson here tyler the two new generational potential would be cool for a franchise that is interesting that is interesting I, I would I would kind of like that. Thank you so much to the two though, Tyler. Can we get some Tyler hype in the chat down below? Eric Carlson though with uh with his with his uh stubble <laughs> right there. I mean again, like I don't again I kinda get a little bit of a fearfulness of, of with that NHL logo because it definitely looks like a fanatics jersey. Oh <laughs> Okay, this is the first bad screenshot. What is what is this? Really? This is how you had Kakaniemi? Man, they did Kakaniemi dirty. <laughs> he looks way more Russian than he actually is. 
but you can kind of see again some more texture on that Habs logo, which I think definitely pops out. They did cock and me dirty though. Can we get some else in the chat for that one? They did cock and me dirty on that one. Yikes! <laughs> All right, look, I, there's apparently a ton of uh, a ton of screenshots here. There is the Austin Matthews screenshot. I can, why why did they do that on Cock Kitty Emmy, man? They did him dirty. They did him dirty. There's the Matthew screenshot. Here is but Ooh. That I mean, that's okay. There's a lot more detail on the shoulders, which pops out to me. A lot more detail on the jersey on the uh, on the on the Vegas jersey and the logo, which definitely pops out as well. I don't think I don't think they ever had like the 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 um the Lafleur, whatever you want, the other uh, kind of like detail around that Gold Knight or in that black part of the Gold Knights logo before. Uh, they also have the uh, they also have the detail on the gold part, which I think is really good. That's that's some good detail that I don't think was in previous games. Uh, but but Treasure looks really good here, honestly. Like I I like I think the eyes have a lot more detail, but again that shine that lighting pops out a lot more in these screenshots. There was a lot here though. Is that the last one though? Okay, it is. I gotta say it right now, the worst screenshot is definitely the Kakaniemi one. <laughs> but i think the best one honestly was uh where was it where was it it was the uh it was the crosby one that one looks sweet just absolutely that, that one looks pretty sick to be honest to be honest i know kak Kanemi is finished i'm saying he looks russian oh inspector the two canadian EAs modeling and textures improved excited to be honest yeah it looks a lot better it looks a lot better spectre i mean the gra graphically it, it's about as, as much as, it, as as much as i was expecting but hey <laughs> hey sometimes sometimes when you get what you expect with ea sometimes that's better than you actually expect so uh i i'm pretty I, i'm happy about what the gra how the graphics look but again I, it wasn't really what i was looking for i, I know it's, they're trying to sell the new gen but still still uh check twitter mentions you don't have to yell at me you don't have to yell at me oh are you kidding me yikes this is so dumb man this is mm. why why biggest nhl 22 news xbox one and ps4 cannot play against xbox series x or ps5 there is no cross play in nhl 22 i will have separate Oh my god. Yeah, you're the dumbest. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the 125. I think that's like what? Like like five dollars? Thank you so much, Mug. I'm a hopeful San Jose Sharks fan from the Philippines. I enjoy watching your videos, even if hockey is not being followed that much here. Hey, Smug, we love to have you in the hockey community, man. Thank you so much for the nation. Can we get some Smug hype in the chat down below? Good to see hockey fans from the Philippines, man. That is absolutely amazing. Hopefully, the Sharks do much better in the next few years. It's going to be it's gonna be an interesting couple of seasons for them with the whole Evander Kane thing, but I'm hoping they do a lot better, for sure. Good luck for the Sharks, and I I'm definitely rooting for them a lot. But here's the thing. Get some hype in the chat for Smug. But here's the thing. There's going to be four different consoles that have NHL 22. This was the perfect opportunity to introduce crossplay. The perfect opportunity. <sighs> Words cannot express. Like I can get, I can get not having GM connect connected or not having not having a roster sharing. I can get it to some extent. It's a terrible decision, but I can get it. This is stupid. This is this is another world of stupidity. When you have four different consoles, it, it's like, can we get, can we please get some L's in the chat? Cause this is, this is horrible. This is horrible. You have four different consoles. You're, 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 oh. Spectre, thank you so much for the two I grabbed when I said about EA I had to jinx it. <laughs> I think I think so, Spectric. I think so. Rest in peace. Rest in peace for Spectric. Thank you so much for the two Canadian man. When you have you your 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 community was already so split up between Xbox and PS4. Now you're gonna have four different consoles. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. 
And, and, uh, here's the thing that is so stupid to me, so dumb, so stupid and so dumb. The NHL and EA Sports likes to promote, oh, we love competitive play. We love people playing against each other and having these different tournaments. Let's give, the, let's give all this money out and have all this fun time. Why is there not cross play? Why do top players in Xbox have to play players in Xbox? It makes no sense if you're if you're promoting this tournament these tournaments and, and, and this online play and, and this competitive play and all this different stuff why is there no cross play this is easy this is simple the easiest thing you could have ever done and I, I'm the furthest thing from a competitive player the furthest thing I don't care a lick about competitive NHL but this is just a slap in the face to anybody who even plays this game at all. Crazy, thank you so much for the 50 Sweden brother. Screw this, no Rangers cover. Matthews again, no console cross play. Not buying this until the minute Jeff and get their real hair. That is true. That is true, Chrissy. Good points. Good points. We were, honestly, for Ra Rangers fans everywhere, we were we were we were straight bamboozled. How how do you release a, tra a trailer with the with the Rangers logo and then put Matthews in it again? Like what? What was the point of that? What was the, what was the point of that that teaser? It makes no sense to me, man. It makes no sense to me. You won't be able to find a game now. Exactly. Like. <laughs> the, like. Uh, like if you're Madden and you didn't have crossplay, you're stupid. But at least you, can, I get it because you have a lot of players. This is NHL 22. There's going to be like five people that buy your game and actually play online. And you're going to split them all between four different consoles? You are stupid. You are stupid. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Um... I'm a competitive PS4 uh, World of uh, WOC player and all my friends are on PS5. Yeah, man. I mean, that... That as well like it, like what how i feel for the competitive players but how about the competitive players that can't even get a ps5 or an xbox series s or x like what are they gonna do and what are the people on new consoles gonna do nobody has a new console and, and uh, it's so dumb man I, I i i can't justify this i can't justify this this is this is this is just just you're already such a niche, niche company. You're already such a niche video game, and you don't even have crossplay. You're literally shooting yourself in the foot and then shooting yourself in the head. I don't get it. I don't get it. But we'll see. Again, there apparently, according to the GameStop article, there will be more that uh, that will be revealed. Um, that will be revealed. With, with franchise mode and be a pro later on which i'm i'm uh, i am so hoping for now the thing is here the reason i still have a little bit of hope from uh this the reason i still have a little bit of hope with with roster sharing being in here is that like okay i get it for a reveal trailer like roster sharing isn't like the most exciting thing i get that so that's why i'm kind of holding out hope for a hero right now that there is still a roster sharing or, or a gm connected like, there is still a possibility of that. Still is the possibility of that. Um, oh my goodness, Joe with the 10. Why do you think we, uh, wh or why do you think we would be hyped about an engine that came out with on FIFA 17? <laughs> That's a good point, John. Thank you so much for the 10. Can we get some big John hype in the chat down below? I mean, you are right, though. You are right. Frostbite should have been uh, in the NHL, like, years ago. At least, like, NHL 19 or 20. That that's what I would have thought. Like that would have been that, I I like I can get being like a couple years behind FIFA, but like four years, four or five years behind FIFA, that's pushing it. That's pushing it. Who's in the cover for Europe? I don't know if we've had that revealed yet. I don't know if we've had that revealed yet. Let me see. Okay. Look at Matthew's Insta video, potential USA and roller tees. Okay.
Oh, I already, yeah, we already saw that video. I didn't, I didn't see anything about roller skating, though. Uh, do you need help finding a PS5? I can help you find one. The thing is, like, I would like to have a PS5, but at the same time, I'm kind of waiting for... I'm kind of waiting for actual games to be on there. Because <laughs> I'm definitely getting a PS5 uh, at some point. Um, but, like, it's, it's, it's kind of a thing where, like, I, I, I'm just kind of waiting for... I, I, I bought my PS4, I think, in, like, 2016. I, li I like buying consoles, like, two years after it's released. That way, you might have a price drop or you might have, like, a revision. And you also have uh, games that are actually out and you could actually buy on day one. That's kind of how I'm thinking uh, with, my, with actually my strategy. But the problem is with that, with my, I'm, a, I'm a hypocrite because I bought a Switch on day one just because I wanted to play Breath of the Wild. But, but, besides that, that's kind of how I go. Um, check Twitter mentions. Okay. I'm, uh, by the way, uh, for, I mean, I, I know there already is some games on there, but I'm waiting for mostly, like, Horizon Zero, like, the Horizon Zero Dawn sequel and other stuff like that. Um, uh, J I saw, yeah, I saw this J Fresh tweet earlier. Let me see, uh, somebody linked it to me as well. Uh, bad news for the lease. Only two of the past 25 EA NHL cover players have made it to the second round of the playoffs the year they were featured on the cover. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, let's go through this, shall we? 97, John Van Breen, uh, Van, uh, Van Breen, uh, Breen, oh my goodness, Van Breen, Jeez, Brooke. Panthers losing round one, Peters Forsberg, Avalanche losing round one, Eric Lindros, Flyers losing round one, Chris Pronger, Flood Blues losing round one, Owen Nolan, Sharks losing round one, Mario Lemieux, Penguins missed the playoffs, Baginla, Flames missed the playoffs, Heatley, Frashers missed the playoffs, Naslin, Canucks missed the playoffs, Vincent LeCavier, Lightning lose round one, Ovechkin, Capitals missed playoffs, Stahl missed playoffs, Banuff, Flames lose round one, Patrick Kane, Blackhawks win the cup, there you go, Taves, Blackhawks lose round one, Stamkos, Lightning missed the playoffs, Drew, Flyers miss the playoffs. Burdor Devils miss the playoffs. Patrice Bergeron miss the playoffs. Taze lose round one. Tarasenko lose round two. McDavid miss the playoffs. PK Subban lose round one. Matthews round one. Ovechkin round one. So there's only one that has actually gone past the second round. It looks like, and uh, that was that was Patrick Kane who eventually won the Stanley Cup. So there you go. But uh, I I don't think it's gonna happen. Luis, sorry to uh, spoil it for you guys. <laughs> Um, that was going to take a uh, year to find games in EASHL drop for NHL 22. Yes, exactly, man. That's that's the worst part about it. That's the worst part about it. Oh, Breath of the Wild is amazing, 100%. 100%. Though, I still I still prefer Majora's Mask as my favorite Zelda game, but, but Breath of the Wild is still amazing. I got the PS5, but my friends are mostly on the PS4. That is a bad move, maybe uh, because of the new gen way to play the game. But man, it's rough. To me, so, so Lewis Thomas. Uh, the thing is, it would make sense if there was no crossplay. If it was only, um, if it was only the Frostbite engine on PS5 and P and, P and, and Xbox Series X and S, but it's not. Frostbite is on the PS4 and Xbox One too, so they have no excuse. They really have no excuse. Like, again, if they, if, they, if they have the Frostbite only on next gen, I can see why. I don't agree with it, but I can see why. It would be tricky to make it work. They have no excuse. The engine is on every version of the game. Every single version of the game. Guys, if you go to EA Customer Support for NHL 22, one of the selectable platforms for help is... No. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. The wax officer, don't, don't you dare. Oh. help center help of a game yes uh nhl 22 okay select a platform oh no do not get it out! No, do not do this to me! Oh my goodness! No! No! Wait just a sec- Okay, select a topic. Uh, um... Uh... Report concerns or harassment? PC! If this is a troll, if, the, if, the, if EA is trolling me right now, I'm going to be so mad. For the best results, select a topic, platform, and or keywords. So it's got everything. P 
PS4, digital edition, it's got Xbox One, it's got all that. PC! <laughs> you know what? Now I'm hyped! Now I'm hyped! Dude, if, if they're trolling, if they are trolling, I am going to literally... Mm. I'm not buying this. I'm not buying this game if, they, if they're trolling. If they do have a PC version, though, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. You can you imagine the the? Can, I mean, even if they don't have roster sharing, there's gonna be a mod to get roster sharing on there. So, uh, I, I'm gonna make that happen. We're gonna we're gonna make that happen together. If they're if they okay, uh, try with NHL 21. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. NHL 21. Let's see. NHL 21 help. Uh, let's go with uh, concerns or harassment again. No PC! No PC! I'm I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. There is no PC. Oh my goodness! Did we just did we just leak NHL 22 on PC in this live stream? Hello? What, dude? It's. It's not. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There is no PC box to select here, guys, on NHL 21. But on NHL 22, on NHL 22, do not do this to me, EA. Do not do this to me, EA. Please. Please do not do this to me, EA. Oh my goodness. I, I, I guess. Oh my goodness. NHL 22. Please let this actually be a thing, man. Please let this actually. Oh, man. Once again, select a platform. PC! Oh, my goodness. Yo. I get. You know what? Uh, big, big shout outs. Big shout outs. Can we get some W's in the chat? Can we please get some W's in the chat for the Wax Lobster telling me about that? Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Can we get some W's in the chat for that? I can't believe that. We literally just leaked PC version of NHL 22. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know what? Now I'm excited. You know what? Now I'm excited. Because if this thing is on PC... Okay, here's the thing. If this is on PC, I'm gonna say this right now. There, could, if this is on PC, that is gonna be huge. That is gonna be huge because then you could have, then you could install, you could have so many mods from the community. I hope at least. Um, and I would assume the the um, I would assume the the simming goes a lot faster because I have a, I have a pretty good I have a pretty good uh I have a pretty good uh PC. So hopefully. Hopefully that's the case. That'd be oh my goodness! Please, please. <laughs> no, the Nintendo Switch is not there, sadly. But again, select a platform, PC, and all this, all this. So it is an option. But the thing is, it's the first option. It's not just like tucked away. It's the first option you have to select a platform. The first option you have. <sighs> if it's a mistake, man, I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> I'm gonna be so sad. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Yo. I, please do not do that. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on Twitter. When you go on the NHL 22 help page on AEA's official site. I need, I need to tweet that out because that is that is actually that like if that is a thing if that is a thing that is huge news huge news but um yeah we'll see I mean I, I I feel like it obviously does have potential to be a mistake man but I I, I need some hope in my life <laughs> I need some hope in my life some hope in my life um if you go to the pre-order screen PC is on there really Mm. 
Hmm. On the let me let me see actually because this is still the this is still the help edition right or this is still the help thing. Uh, EA NHL 22 pre-order. Uh, thank you so much, Wigan Rister, for subscribing. Welcome to the Grab Gang. Now again, uh, it only lists a PlayStation and Xbox as pre-order options. Um, from what I can tell. From what I can tell. Oh, I meant CPCs on there. No, from what I from what I can tell, the pre-order uh thing at least it's not on there, which we'll see, we'll see. Man, guys, okay, can we get some W's in the chat to please get some good luck for PC uh, edition of NHL 22? I need that in my life, man. I need that in my life. That is pretty good, though. That is that is an interesting, interesting thing. Now, the thing is here, it says available on Xbox Series X, Xbox One, PS5, PS4. What I think might be the case here, and I, this is a theory that I have. I think a reason why it's showing up as one of the options in the help center and not for the pre-order is because I think the PC version is coming later. I think the PC version is coming later. Now, I don't know how later it would be, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. I don't think... I don't think I, I feel like there is a PC version of this game. It won't be coming on the same day as the other ones though. That is my prediction. Cause again, when it comes to pre-orders and everything, it says available on Xbox and PlayStation and that's it. But again, PC was one of the options for the help, which wasn't on NHL 21, wasn't on NHL 21. So for me, I feel like the reason of that is because it won't be like a pre-order. It'll be like a, Oh, it comes out a month after the other releases. That is what I'm thinking. That is what I'm thinking. Uh, available for pre-order on Steam. We haven't heard, we haven't seen the PC version confirmed yet, so I, I don't think we would get that yet. Um, it's not. It's a fat troll, fat L for EA. <laughs> Let's hope not. Um, you know what, Barnownsy? Let's uh. Wait a sec. Let me see here. All right, I'll give you a chance to mod again. I'll give you a chance to mod again, Bardownsy. I mean, you could check the Steam store or EA. Uh, yeah, I don't think it would list it. It, it. It's not listing it from all the other places. But again, it lists it on the help center, which again I think is the is a reason why I think we'll see it later than the um than the other ones. So that, that's kind of what I'm thinking. That's kind of what I'm thinking. By the way, if you guys have not subscribed already to the channel, make sure you do so. I'd absolutely appreciate it. And again, we make daily hockey content on this channel. We'd love to have you. I don't know where we're at right now. Let me just check real quick. Um, oh my goodness, we are one away from 47.1. We're at 47,099, which is, oh, my, my camera's inverted never mind <laughs> we are one subscriber away from third or 47.1k subscribers which is crazy thank you so much for all the sport boys and of course subscribe if you guys are new but again uh going back to uh potentially potentially uh a leak here again pc version when you go to the ea ea help pc is a platform you can select now i think what's interesting is that there, i mean if it is a mistake i think ea is probably going to fix it pretty quick if if it is if it's a, if it's still an option to select PC by like September, there's going to be a PC version. But if it is a mistake, I think EA will probably fix it pretty quickly. Um, thank you so much, Carl, for subscribing. Welcome to the Grab Gang. Can I get some Carl having the chat down below? Absolutely appreciate you, man. Absolutely appreciate you. October fifteenth seems late. Yeah, it's, yeah, I would I would I would say so. Hey, Grav, awesome work, bro. Greens from Helsinki, Philip. Good to see you again, man. Good to see you again. Grav, one problem. PC doesn't have an established NHL player base. I bet less than 2,000 people will play it anyways. The game is a fat L. Well, for me, at least. The thing, I, I, like, I don't play much online, so I'll be okay. If PC has, like, super fast simming and the same graphics and everything, obviously it would, right? If it has super fast simming and you, there's able to be mods, like, I'll say this. I'll say this right now. If there's no roster sharing, or if, if there is roster sharing, I think there's going to be a lot of uh, of really good rosters on the PC version of the game. I'm going to say that right now because we there was like a, like the NBA 2K community um, PC wise does a lot of stuff that way. Uh, last time I checked, 
so i don't know like i, I feel like it's i feel like it's gonna it's gonna work and i feel like a lot of people would buy it on pc especially if there is if there is better graphics that could be had um which there would probably be um grab this channel taking big leaps congrats thank you so much new york ranger good to have you in here uh it gives him a five uh, gives a 500 error When you go to pre-order NHL 22 on PS5, you get an error message. Oh, no. Oh, no. Aiden, thank you so much for subscribing, man. Standard edition on PS5. <laughs> oh, man. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Are you kidding me, EA? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you can't even pre order the X Factor edition. What about PS4? You you just flat out cannot pre order the game on, on PlayStation. You just flat flat out cannot. Let's see, what about what about Xbox? What about Xbox? Oh, of course you can on Xbox. Of course you can. Of course you can. So there you go. Wait. The X Factor Edition is $89? What? Hello? Hello? Oh, yeah, because the Xbox Series X ones are, uh, are, are $10 more. Yikes. Yikes. 70 bucks for NHL 22. <laughs> e e at least you can at least you can pre-order it on Xbox, but yikes, EA. Yikes. So many else for EA. It, it, I'll say this, if there's no PC, like EA is taking a humongous amount of L's. A humongous amount of L's if there's no PC version. Dual entitlement? Oh, that's interesting. When you purchase the EA Sports NHL 22 Xbox X Factor Edition for Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5, you'll also be able to play on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, respectively. Um, the standard edition does not uh, include dual uh, entitlement on any... What? They're locking that behind the X Factor... Dude. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Nobody cares about HUT EA. Nobody cares about HUT. Anyways, anyways. Xbox is miles better than PlayStation. Oof. 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 <laughs> Let me know in the chat down below. Xbox or PlayStation for you guys. I mean, it's obvious uh, EA NHL prioritizes Xbox. That's pretty much confirmed. Hey, yo, I just woke up in the Kraken Arena NHL 22 looks. Uh, it definitely looks good. It definitely looks good for sure. As a PlayStation 4 player, I guess I'm not buying the game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no crossplay. No nothing. Hey, man, if there's... The only way... The only, only way EA can redeem this is if it has roster sharing and it's on PC, man. It's on PC. By changing the last part of the link, PlayStation, Xbox, or PC, then try anything. That's also a proof for PC version being prepared for. Um, by changing the last part of the link. Last part of the link. Hold up. PC. Oh. oh. I was about to just. Um, I thought we just unlocked something crazy, but I guess it's just a FIFA 22 uh, PC version. Interesting, though. Interesting. It is a link that exists, though, at least. Seventy dollars is expensive for American. I'm from another country. for For U.S. is expensive. Yeah, for anybody else outside of the U.S., it, it's even more, which is crazy. Yeah, Austin Matthews is the cover photo or cover player. Yeah, 
yeah for me i've always been an, i've always been a nintendo guy first and foremost but I, I usually go nintendo and playstation if i can afford it <laughs> if i can afford it more videos on nhl 22's homepage, nhl 22 superstar x factors and bastard abilities uh why even bother buying it at this point if there is a pc version i'll buy it matt if there is a pc version i'll buy it. and hey i mean i'll probably make videos on it so i'm probably gonna buy it anyways but yeah uh if there is a pc version though if there is a pc version that could be kind of powerful that could be kind of powerful I, d I would hope for that i would hope for that exactly char walker i don't care about looks i care about gameplay exactly the same thing ps5 but when can i pre-order uh now i guess it's just not letting you pre-order right now though when it comes to the link it's just done it's just bye bye i know i wonder if you can actually just like look it up though you probably can <laughs> nhl you can't even buy nhl 22 on the playstation store right now man that is that is kind of funny <laughs> you can't even buy NHL for PlayStation right now. Review all of your videos from last season. All of them, Golovich? All of them? Uh, when do more trailers come out? Uh, we don't know officially. I know there was a gameplay trailer after the reveal trailer last year. Uh, but I don't know when they're going to come out. I I'd suspect probably around September, though. Or maybe maybe even this week, perhaps. I, I there there's a lot of ways I can go about it, but it does release in two months, so I just, I suspect they go with the trailers pretty quickly. Looks like NHL 22 is just a regular season game. Um, what are your thoughts on Dylan Duke's brother? Um, what was his name? I, I forget. what was it? I'm trying to. Remember. I know I know who you're talking about. I know who you're talking about. I don't know why I'm not remembering it right now. Tyler Duke, yes, Tyler Duke. I honestly like Tyler Duke a lot. I like Tyler Duke a lot as well. Uh, he is an interesting uh, interesting one as a defenseman. He's really young at a July birth date. Um, I don't have him in my top like top 15 or 20 right now, but I think he could be a first rounder. He was actually pretty solid for the U17 last year. Uh, I'm hoping he's, gonna, he's obviously going to be in the U18 team this year. I, I think there's a lot of potential there for him. Just paste the PC link just paste it into uh pc and then paste it here no it still goes to it still goes to fifa 22 from what i can tell um which is weird <laughs> but here's the thing at least there's a at least there's a link for it there's a link for it Please add Ross sharing 100%, Adrian. If they can add Ross sharing, I'd be so happy. I'd be so happy right now. Uh, let me see here. Okay. Yeah, so cross-gen is, uh, is officially not in the game, sadly. But you know what? We right now are one like away from 300, so let's get that done. Subscribe, of course, if you guys are new. I think that'll pretty much have to be it for today's uh, live stream, though. Uh, we've been we've been going out for quite actually. How long have we been streaming for? We've been streaming for an hour and a half, an hour and a half, so quite a bit. So again, if you did enjoy brother stream, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. 100 is absolutely approved, uh, appreciated. And uh, again, daily hockey content on this channel throughout the entire off season. If you need more hockey content in your life, this is the place to be. And every and a new shout out goes to every new subscriber. So subscribe if you have not already. And um, yeah, I mean NHL 22, no real non gameplay shown so far. I hope we'll get something outside of uh, outside this trailer soon. Um, we'll see. I might I might make a video on that if it is the case. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. There's not really like the thing is like I know a lot of YouTubers are gonna make like breakdown videos. There's nothing to break down. <laughs> like what is there to break down with this trailer? Not really much. Not really much. Uh, yes, we did it. The sub goal, Quinn. I think we're at. Uh, what is it officially? What is it officially? Uh, 47,106. Thank you so much for the 47.1k milestone, boys. Appreciate it, son. Uh, yes, all-star game. Show who won trophies during the season. Not have to go all the way out to uh, out of a way to do it. Ross sharing realistic contracts. Bottom six players can develop to, to uh, elite. Um, NHL Game Wiki has windows.
NHL game wiki? What about NHL 22? Or NHL, NHL video game. How about that? NHL video game series. Okay. It says this, but it also like what was there a uh, was there an NHL game on uh, on Windows before? Was there an NHL game on Windows? It's on this side right now. Let me see if I can load it up. Let me see if I can load it up. There you go. So you can see like it goes all the way back through all the generations. So maybe NHL. What 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 NH, EA NHL game was actually on PC? On PC. Hmm. Like, well, I I don't I can't even remember what was the last EA NHL. Like, it would have had to be like, like NHL four or something. Like something way back. Something way back. Yeah. So like NHL four was on Windows. That that was the thing. Um. Yeah, I, I, we went through that uh, GameSpot or uh, article. A lot, a lot of stuff in there for sure. Yeah, Wikipedia can be edited by everybody. Um, I don't know. I don't think we'll make a new mod today, but probably in the next one, Sean. Why do you have so many mods? Because I like making the, I like making my mods. I'm, I like making my mods. It's probably not going to be on PC. Well, Blue Gaming, Blue Gaming. Uh, if you go to the NHL help page, PC is one of the options you can select a platform for in uh, NHL 22. So I'm holding out hope, guys. I'm holding out hope. Holding out hope. It'll happen. I, I'm I'm hoping. I'm hoping. We're we're all hoping here. We're all hoping. Um. Okay, I'll check Discord D, uh, DMs after the stream. Oh wait, is the last one I believe? Yeah, that would make sense. But again, they list all the they list all the consoles since like PS2. So yeah, I, I would suppose that Windows will be a part of that, right? But again, we're hoping for a PC version of NHL 22, uh, and that is pretty much the last update from what I can tell. Um, it says NHL 22 is on Windows. Where, Joshua? Uh, 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 <laughs> hello, hello. Okay, this is what you were talking about. Uh, okay, so NHL 22, Windows, Windows. Now, the last game to go on Windows was NHL 09. Hello? Okay, again, anybody can edit this, so obviously it's not confirmed confirmed. But that's a good sign. That's another good sign. Okay, okay, I like that. You like to see it. You like to see it. You like to see it. Um, if it comes to PC, you could play it on the Steam Deck. Yeah, that is true. That would be pretty fun. That would be pretty fun. Yeah, anybody can modify it, but you know what? We're ho we're still holding out hope. We're still holding out hope. Uh, but anyways, I think that'll be pretty much it for today's uh, live stream. Let me, let me go through everybody's name. We got Aaron Martinic, Adrian Anaya, Blue Gaming, and Chrissy. We got Dave Rolo. We got Exilio. We got Flyers fan. Carter Hart is the future. Hello there. Hockey Arcade, Hans Akrat, Jacob Borish, John Estrada, J Joshua Padera, Kyle he he Hedvig. We got Maurice. We got Mr. Beast. We got Miss Shot Fit and New York Ranger, Patrick Flood, and Quinn. We got Ransu, RPG Geek, and Santo, Sexy Ginger, and Sean Winters, and Sharana Golich, and Swirls, and your boy, ma'am, and other other beauties like Child Walker, Child uh, Carter, uh, uh, Albor Albor Alborishi, and Anthony Palumbo. Thank you guys so much for coming to the stream, brothers. Appreciate it a ton. We'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know um, when the next stream will be. It'll be at some point, though. It'll be at some point. But again, we're holding out hope for a PC version of NHL 22. We'll see what happens. Thank you so much for all the nations for during the stream, brothers. Brothers, appreciate it a ton as well. And it's great to have you during this. It's been a really fun stream, and uh, we'll see what NHL 22 brings coming out in two months, which it'll um. And which will be pretty interesting. I'm hoping again, hoping again for some PC action. But we'll see what happens. Thank you so much, guys, for 47.1K as well. Thank you so much for 47K. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. Have a great one, guys. Have a great afternoon. And...